to stand. But I will add here to your request that I be seated. Okay? Okay, thank you. Any address for representative? Uh, Jim Wallace, 34 Mayor Street, Post Time. I will try to keep it in time for you, but please allow me a little extra if it's a possibility. As I look at your faces, I can see how happy all of you are in my appearance here again. You know. <laughs> I assure you my presence will continue at these meetings until such time I receive definitive answers from Mayor Lake and Council members pertaining to the display of our nation's flag in Central City parade rooms and surrounding areas on appropriate patriotic and politics. In an 11 year time frame attending multiple council meetings, writing letters to our mayor and newspapers, I can't recall reading or hearing any explanation of an official nature from our city government as to whether our nation's flag should or should not be displayed. No encouragement of any kind. The question has never been answered. Pitiful. If I were to ask the same questions of grade schoolers, I would receive Sickening. positive answers. Perhaps in speak, I'm speaking to the wrong group. Maybe next time I should speak to a grade school class. I bet they would answer the same questions council members refuse. Why isn't the flag flying from every rooftop and from every home and building? Simple answer, complacency. The complacent attitude is a strong evidence of cancerous patriotic decay. Allow me to provide you with thousands of reasons to display our flag. The city of Wilkesbury has a population of 41,498. Businesses totaling 6,283. Public high-rise buildings totaling 30, plus multiple public and private schools. Our nation has been engaged in 12 major wars. We have 146 United States national military cemeteries, five of which are located in Pennsylvania, plus 24 foreign burial grounds. 94 years ago, Armistice Day, now Veterans Day, was established. The tradition of remembering our troops who fought for our freedoms is diminishing at a rapid pace. Time won't permit me to tell you why. Since World War II to the present war in Afghanistan, our nation has suffered 88,688 missing in action. That's over twice the population of the city of Wilkesburg. Add to that fact the mental suffering of their families in that time frame of not knowing if their loved ones are dead or alive, and the pain and suffering of those of these prisoners of war camps. Keeping these thoughts in mind, I'm going to relate to you perhaps the most shameful act I've ever experienced in my lifetime. I'm a 66-year member of the American Legion, past commander post 395 in Kingston. In 1964, I was a delegate from my post the 12th District of American Legion provided the 39 American Legion posts. In 1964, our district was notified by the National Headquarters that 450 American military were still being held prisoners of war in North Korea. National Headquarters called upon all Legion posts throughout our nation to prepare a resolution calling on our United States Congress to demand the release of all our prisoners of war. I immediately made a motion to second such a resolution. The motion was accepted and passed. The resolution was to be sent to then Senators Hugh Scott, Joseph Clark, and Congressman Dan Flood, all of Pennsylvania, calling on them to make every effort for the release of our comrades in North Korean prison camps. At the following month's meeting, I inquired of the agent who was responsible for sending our resolution if he had received a response to our resolution. His response was no. At the following month's meeting, I asked the same question and received the same negative reply. I then began to become suspicious as to whether he ever sent the resolution. With that thought in mind, I wrote to the two senators and congressmen inquiring if they received the 12th district resolution. Each one notified me by letter they had not received the resolution. Armed with the three responses, and the following month's meeting, I asked the adjutant for the third time if any response to our resolution was forthcoming. Again, the answer was no. I then asked the agent if he indeed sent the resolution. His response was yes. With that, I screamed at the top of my voice, you're a damn liar! You never sent the resolution. I then read the three letters stating never receiving our resolution. You can hear a pin drop of silence. Not a single reprimand came from the district commander Offers, two chaplains who were present, nor any member, just dead silence. 
I immediately call for the resignation of the adjutant against silence. I then ask the district commander to remove him as adjutant once more silence. With that, I shouted, the adjutant abandoned our comrades. Rotting in those prison camps, and you delegates here, by your silence, condoned his actions. I was sick to my stomach. Okay, sir. Is history repeating itself here? Mr. As I witness the same type of silence concerning the absence of our flag, Mr. we are asked to honor those men who sacrificed for us. Hey, Mr. Walsh, your time is up, sir. Thank you. Can I continue, please? No, you can. We allow we five for our country. Country. We, 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 we allow five minutes to everybody to serve the fair. I'm just asking for a, 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 a simple uh, I don't know, about 30 or 40 seconds. I have no problem doing the 30 seconds, 40 seconds. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, sir. Have 30 seconds. Please finish. Is history repeating, repeating itself here as I witness the same tight silence concerning the absence of our flag when we are asked to honor those men who sacrificed for us? Are we not abandoning the memory of those who will still be rotting in prisoner war camps? Also, those who are lying in veterans' hospitals. Is it too much to ask to honor them a few days a year? In fact, every day should be veterans. I won't accept the feeble excuse the city doesn't have the money. You obtain the funds for the commercial banners. Why not the Star Spangled Banner? Your choice of banner provides me with the answer as to your priority. God help us. Thank you.